For too many a diagnosis of cancer uh, or any other serious uh, disease uh, has become a prognosis of bankruptcy. Congress has not only failed to respond, uh, many of our colleagues don't even recognize that there's a problem. Uh, today, uh, colleagues from key House committees uh, are here to announce the formation of a new affordable drug pricing task force through which uh, we are demanding action. All of us have heard about the company that took a 62-year-old drug and raised the price overnight by 5,000% from $13.50 to $750 a tablet. But exorbitant drug prices are not about one wrongdoer or one drug or one class of drugs. They are a systemic problem that involve a wide range of manufacturers. Prices for the world's top 20 selling drugs uh, are about three times higher in America than in Britain. Uh, Jim, if I may move you just a minute. Uh, for example, Nexium, $215 in the United States, $42 in England, $23 in the Netherlands. It's enough to give you heartburn. Uh, runaway prescription drug prices uh, not only threaten families with financial ruin, but they challenge our hospitals and they can wreck taxpayer-funded health initiatives. While enjoying both generous tax breaks and government-subsidized research, the pharmaceutical industry claims that it must engage in price gouging of Americans to fund research for the world's consumers. Innovation versus accessibility is really a false choice. And innovation means very little uh, if cost denies access to new drugs. Instead, instead of setting a new record of Obamacare assaults, this Congress ought to be looking at record drug prices. There are many legislative answers. We'll talk about some of them this morning. One place to start is John Dingell's Medicare Prescription Drug Price Negotiation Act, which this House approved in 2007 with the support of every Democrat and 24 Republicans. But the problem is much bigger than Medicare. Our colleagues will be working together and will outline some of their concerns this morning on full disclosure of the cost of drug development, price calculations, and medical expert evaluation of drug efficacy, especially of these highly touted and advertised drugs. Today we're calling on the House Republican leadership for action. Uh, we call on the administration as well to use every tool at its disposal to grapple with this challenge. In this regard, it's encouraging that yesterday Secretary Burwell announced that on November the 20th she'll hold a major pharmaceutical forum. I think that's great. We need the talk, we need the input, but then we need the prompt action. Drug company manipulation of prices is threatening our health care system. There is a big difference between reasonable profits and profiteering. I'd like to uh, call on colleagues uh, who've worked on this issue and are asking for action. I'm going to call up first the ranking member of the House Ways and Means Committee, uh, Sandy Levin.